dad story, dog story. <laughs> so I grew up in a really kind of backward place and it was nothing for people to just unalive animals. I mean, I think it still happens. I'm sure it does. I haven't been there in a long time. Um, but my dad was working and some gentleman came by with this pup who couldn't have been more than nine or 10 months old. She was a black faced shepherd. She was gorgeous. She was completely cream colored, except for her face that had this beautiful black flare and these big brown eyes. And she had a white and a black tip at the end of her tail. Otherwise she was all cream colored. She was gorgeous and she was rare. I haven't ever looked up that dog, but apparently she was pretty rare at the time. And he was taking her in to the kill shelter. And my dad said, well, what are you doing? Why are you taking her to the kill shelter? She's just a pup. And he said, well, she runs off from home all the time. She is ornery and then she's shy. And I mean, he just had every excuse, my dad said. So of course that afternoon, my dad pulls up into our driveway and we now have Sheba. And he called her Sheba because she was the queen of Sheba. And that's what he planned for her to do on our farm. Now, Sheba ended up growing into one of the best dogs that I could have ever grown up with. Uh, she came around when I was about in the seventh grade or so, and Sheba lived for over 20 years. And she was really, really shy at first, and she would go and hide under, you know, the neighbor's steps. Uh, and Dad really tried hard to, like, gain her respect. And she loved my dad. And she ended up loving us. She was a good, good girl. And he just had her as a house dog, like somebody to keep around our house, not our farm, a dog. And one day, she followed him across the road to the feed store. I go see a lot of racket. I hear a lot of racket outside. And I go see that my dad has his belt off, and he is chasing her down the road into our yard with his belt off like he was a kid. Now, this sounds horrible. He would never hurt her. But he wanted to scare the bediddles out of her because he didn't want her crossing that road and getting killed. And it was really important to him that she learn that because we lost a lot of dogs to the road because they would chase a deer or something across or a rabbit or something across. And so I'm like, Dad, Dad, you can't be chasing this dog down the road with a belt. People are going to put us in jail for animal abuse. He said, I am not abusing this animal. I have not laid one hand on her. What I want her to understand is that there is authority for a reason. From that point forward, Shiva never left, never crossed the road. She would get in the truck and ride in the back of the truck just fine. She would uh, take us out to the end of the driveway just fine. Shiva never crossed a highway ever again, and she taught all of her puppies how to not cross the road.